name is Will Beecher and I'm a freelance animator and director and I've worked with a huge number of different characters in my career including the, the famous Wallace and Gromit and I've appeared on Blue Peter twice. <laughs> Well, it has to be this one actually, the orange and mango. Very refreshing. Um, and I, I do like the colour orange. So the process started with the original idea based on Debbie's. And we knew it had to be a half hour advert and had to end with the... the <laughs> we knew it. No, we had to make a, a 30 second ad with these three gnomes who were all involved in creating the drink. I'm Libby and I'm the marketing manager here at Feel Good Drinks. I haven't had any breakfast yet today. I'm very hungry. We first came across um, Debbie when she entered uh, a competition which we were working on with a company called YCN, um, which is the Youth Creative Network. We submitted a brief which was simply to do something that spread feel goodness um, or make someone smile. As soon as we saw Debbie's, we just knew, you know, it's one of those ideas that's really special. Really, not like anything I've seen before. Really innovative, really unique, but it just made us all smile. Hi, I'm Debbie, uh, and I'm the student who originally created the name characters. It was part of a competition that everyone in my year was, um, was submitting something for. I got an email through from Feel Good Drinks um, saying that they wanted to take my idea further and, and use it in some other way. It was such a surprise. I just, I think I ran around my flat screaming for a few minutes uh, <laughs> and uh, waking up my flatmates. we kind of got Debbie on board, um, we then needed to find an agency, an animation agency, a specialist agency that could kind of help us take Debbie's idea to something that was going to be the right kind of production quality and values to be able to run on TV. Um, we also wanted to find an agency that had got experience in animation that would be able to, absolutely building on Debbie's idea, the brief was always to kind of keep that magic and keep that charm, which is when we teamed up with Loose Moose and, and Will as well to do the work. wanted to show that the gnomes made the product. We wanted to show them doing something funny, so the label was important and a bit of pasting um, made it sort of a, a comedy slapstick moment. And the gnomes playing with the cap to show that it was a sort of natural drink scene and then the cap goes on, so it's all together. One is Pete Williamson and I, uh, I'm the lead designer at Loose Moose. And Glenn Holperton, I'm the uh, producer. I can't remember the one I had, it was purple. It was very nice. <laughs> Pete in the Loose Moose office drew up some storyboards. We brainstormed uh, how the gnomes would get from place to place in the advert. And there was lots of um, toing and froing with ideas. Debbie's characters had a slight 70s feel to them, so mm. we, we kind of bore that in mind. And, and I, I think that. The design works got a, a hint of Magic Roundabout and the old Paddington stuff, which had just really clean, mm. simple white backgrounds, but so all the focus was on the main characters. characters. Yeah. And then the design started. Uh, I started building the, the first models to see how the scale would work, and um, also design the internal skeleton, which would help them to stand on one leg and uh, walk around in a more comical way. And then there were some developments with the scale. We, we had some puppets to begin with that were too big in relation to the bottle and they just lost the, the charm factor. And really after, after they were made there were a couple of design things to test. But once they were made we could start animating. The main thing about animation is it's a very, very time consuming process and uh, it's also an expensive process because of the amount of studio space you need and lights and puppets. 
So what that means is that all the planning is really, really critical. So in, in this advert, there's about 750 frames. And when we plan a commercial like this, we do the animatic with the soundtrack, shoot a block through, as it's called, of the whole ad. So we copied the storyboard frames and we could edit it and see that it was going to work for 30 seconds. I'm really excited about going to see the studio because I've, I've never had a chance to, uh, to see a, a proper animation studio. The, the closest I got to it was the little kind of setup that I had in my bedroom. And because I've been a fan of Wallace and Gromit for so long, so uh, getting to meet Will, who's um, had sort of first hand experience with Ardman, is just going to be really fantastic. I personally love the, the physicality of these puppets. When I move each puppet, I'm thinking about the action that I would be doing myself. So, for example, if I wanted this character to, to wave at the camera, what we do is something which Disney first discovered, which is that you can create more interesting movements if you make the distance between them bigger. So what that means is the movements will start small and get bigger as his arm accelerates and then when he reaches the top they'll slow down again. But what you have to remember is this is just one arm and if you're animating a puppet then you're looking at all the movements that are going on around his body. So it's not just his arm but his head. His, his weight has to be consistent. As a professional animator I work all, all the time with a group, a crew of people and on the bigger productions, you actually have a team of at least 10 on each different shot. It's quite important to be, to be able to work with other people. If you're making your own film at home, you could, you could quite easily spend months on your own in your basement or, or in, your, in your workplace. Um, that could be quite solitary, but I remember those days quite fondly. Oh dear, that makes me sound really weird. Can I take that, cut that bit out?